In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can have a wall jump and also a wall slide for your character. And so let's get started. So first thing first, we're going to go on our player and we're going to click on the little down arrow here to go back on the prefab of our player. And I'm going to select player and I'm going to click on the plus and I'm going to look for raycast because we're going to be in need of having raycast for uh, checking collision with the walls. So here what I'm going to say is that I'm going to enable the raycast. So like this is blue because by default it's, it is not enabled. So far it is disabled basically. And so now I'm going to go to cast 2 and I already have the number that works for me, which is 15. And uh, so after that, what can I do? I'm just going to switch it. I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to say uh, minus 20 minus 20 and so like this it goes to the right I'm just gonna move it like this here it seems fine and what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna uh, double click on it to rename it and I'm gonna call it right wall and then I'm gonna just uh, click on Command D to duplicate it or Control D to duplicate it if you're on a PC. And here I'm gonna go back to transform and I'm just gonna say 90, not minus 90. And I'm gonna also move it and I'm gonna put it something like here. Okay, and this one gonna be left wall. So now we have both of our raycasts. You can put more if you want, but this is going to be enough for what we, uh, what we want to do here. So now we need to go to the player. First we save. And we go to the script of the player. And we're going to create a new function. And that function, I'm going to call it uh, next wall. Next to wall. And what I'm going to say is that I'm going to say return. Uh, next to right wall next to right wall or next to left wall this function doesn't exist yet so it's normal if it's red so we're going to create a new function and we're going to create we're going to start by uh, next to right wall so i'm just going to copy that actually it's going to be so like this i'm sure i'm not making typo uh, and so I'm gonna say that return I'm gonna put a dollar sign where is my dollar sign Got them. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a dollar sign and I'm gonna say that like it's the, the right wall we're gonna go for the recast that is supposed to be the colliding with the right wall so I'm gonna say right wall that is colliding And then after that, what I'm going to say is that I'm going to copy that and I'm going to do exactly the same for the left wall. So I just need to change that. It's going to be left wall. And here it's going to be left wall is colliding. And so here basically what we have is like um, if we go back on our player, we have those uh, two raycasts, right wall and left wall, and so that code is checking uh, if our player is next to the wall. If he's next to the wall, he returns that the um, the raycast, the right raycast, is colliding, or the left raycast is colliding. That's basically what we need uh, for making sure that we detect the wall. So now we can use those raycasts to create wall jump and wall slide. So we're going to start by the wall jump. Uh, we have the code for the jump that is right here. And here, for, as a, for example, for if is on floor, we're going to add a new parameter. Or it's going it's to be or uh, next to wall. And we're going to say uh, it's going to be it's going to be just that. So basically what you're gonna, uh, what those two lines are doing is like if our character is on the floor or if it's next to a wall, uh, basically it will charge the jump number. So that's, that's basically what it does, that's it. And after that we have the code here for the jump. So if app, uh, input is actually just pressed, you accept, it jump. 
and so here what we're gonna say we're gonna say end we're gonna retake the jump number here and we're gonna say end jump number is greater greater than uh, zero then velocity dot y minus equal jump okay jump number minus equal one oh, I have two uh, stuff here and so now we need to also have a reference to the, the recast so we're gonna say if not is on floor n next to wall we're gonna say that velocity dot x plus equal wall jump we haven't created yet so it's normal if it doesn't uh, if it's like red that's fine and velocity dot y minus equal jump wall so now we're gonna create those two functions so those two variables so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say var uh, wall jump jump var jump wall and so I'm gonna I'm look at my stuff so I'm gonna say we're gonna make some tests now so uh, we're gonna say that jump wall for example gonna be like something like 60 and we're gonna say that wall jump gonna be something like 150 for example so wall jump will be the, um, the pushback the player will have from the wall on the x-axis and jump wall will be the, um, the height that is, um, that is jumping uh, while is wall jumping basically that's what it is um, so that is good and now we just need to do another stuff oh I've made a typo actually next to right wall sorry that's what it's supposed to be it's not that so yeah and here I'm gonna copy the code and I'm gonna say no it's not what I want to do and here I'm gonna say next to left wall and basically here I'm gonna say it's gonna be minus wall jump and minus jump wall okay I don't know if that code gonna works yet L just let, let's see if it works so I'm gonna go back on my scene So can I jump or not? Yeah, apparently I can jump, so that's good. As you can see, I can jump. But the pushback is not enough. It's just because I made a little typo. So here we're next to the right wall. So wall jump needs to be minus because it goes to the left. And next to left wall, it needs to be uh, also minus because it goes like uh, that's the stuff as well that works. Uh, so. I'm just gonna do something else. I'm just gonna copy that line that uh, deal with the animation. I'm gonna put it here, just like that. It's way cleaner, and this normally I can delete it. I don't need to have it to have it. So if I launch the game now and I go next to the wall, I can jump, as you can see, and that's good. And if I go to another wall, hold on, up. If I go here, for example. Hold on, tuck. This doesn't work. <laughs> Maybe it's plus equal that I need to put here. Let's see. So, yeah, that's plus equal. Okay. So after that, you can you can just deal the um, you can just like tune the um, uh, push back from the walls the way you want. It's in that variable that we have here. Wall jump. Uh, if I put it at 500 for example it's gonna be uh, less uh, it's gonna be less of a thing you see like that so that's good so here you can fine tune as you want it that's fine so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna also focus on making the player uh, just slightly wall sliding when he's like uh, not jumping but next to a wall so now uh, what I'm gonna do is like I'm just gonna create first the animation for the wall sliding so I go back on my player on animation player I click on animation I click on new and I'm gonna name it wall sliding and I have already normally in my sprite sheet I already have 
the the wall slide animation that is completely at the end so it's like the last frame voila it's this one so i'm just gonna uh, add it I create and i have it here i'm gonna just do it like this and i'm gonna put that at 0 0.1 and that's gonna be it and so i think i'm just gonna move no maybe maybe not i will see if it works first yeah i'm gonna see if it works first but i'm gonna leave it like this so now i need to code the wall sliding part so what i'm gonna do is like i'm still here in the jump stuff so i'm gonna say i'm gonna come here and i'm gonna say if next to wall and velocity dot y is greater than 30 which means our uh, player is falling we're gonna say that velocity dot y is equal to 30 so like that it doesn't uh, increase in terms of uh, it can't fall um, it can't it increases speed while falling and so it's gonna give the illusions of sliding on the walls that's basically what it means and so after that I'm gonna say that if next to right wall I'm gonna say sprite dot flip h is equal to true because if our um, player is next to the right wall we want him to be uh, turning on the other side so on the left side and we're gonna say that anim dot play is wall sliding and then we're gonna do exactly the same for the left wall and so i'm just gonna come here and i'm gonna say here next to left wall but here we're gonna say that the sprite flip h is equal to false because uh, if he's on the left wall we want him to uh, be turned on the right side basically and so now if we save that it should work i think i'm gonna have some problems with like some offset with the, the animation of the player but that's it so let's see so no why it doesn't work mm -hmm. oh i know <laughs> It's just because I have made like a little problems. I put that into the jump. So okay. So now it should works. Okay, so voila. Now our player is sliding. As you can see, I have a little bit of a, uh, offset because of basically it's because just of the um, the collision shape. The collision shape is not well aligned. It's just that. Voila. And so normally it should work on the other side too. Yes, on this one it works well. So I just need to fix the um, the right side basically. But so yeah, the, there you have it. Like you have the you can wall jump, you can wall slide, uh, and that's it. You have all the logic for doing that. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. And me, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.